This video lesson is for page J <clears throat> in chemistry, page 1126. Table 6-4 shows that the amount of a solute, that would be the chemicals over here on the left, uh, the amount varies depending on the temperature. So let's take, for instance, um, potassium iodide here. And if you follow the table across, you'll see that as the temperature goes up 20 degrees, 40 degrees, 60 degrees, notice how the numbers are going higher and higher and higher. We can dissolve more and more at the higher temperatures. <clears throat> and this probably makes sense if you've ever had tried to dissolve sugar in iced tea you'll notice that it doesn't dissolve very well, right? But if you have warmer water or hot tea, then you can dissolve a lot more of that sugar and it'll dissolve a lot easier, all right? And, and we can dissolve, for instance, table salt in water. And then the higher the temperature, the more of the salt you can dissolve. All right, so now let's look at this problem, <clears throat> um, 35. And uh, there's two others on this page, number 33 and 34, that are actually, I think, easier. So we're diving in at a hard one, and then you can go back and solve the easier ones. It says, how many fewer grams of lithium carbonate will dissolve in 225 grams of water at 60 degrees compared to 20 degrees? So let's look at the table here. <clears throat> and let's see if we can find lithium carbonate. Here it is down here, second row from the bottom. So we'll kind of highlight that row, and then we're comparing six, 20 degrees, okay, and 60 degrees. So we're taking these two numbers right here. So <clears throat> interestingly, for this one, the higher the temperature, the less soluble it is. It actually decreases. Most of the others I'm looking at, looks like they increase from left to right, and this one decreases. All right, on the next slide, we will uh, talk about setting this problem up to solve it. So you'll notice <clears throat> um, <clears throat> for this problem we have been given 225 grams and that's the solvent water and then I just wrote down these numbers from the table okay so 1.01 <clears throat> .01 grams will dissolve in 100 grams of water at 60 degrees and you see the number for 20 degrees. <clears throat> so what we need to do is take the fact that we have 225 grams, all right, up here, 225 grams of water. So we're putting that right here and dividing by 100 grams because that's how much, that's how the table is set up. <clears throat> so in other words, if we had 200 grams, you would expect that we would have double the 1.01. .01. All right, if we had 300 grams, we would have three times as much. So we're taking 225 divided by the 100 grams, which will give us 2.25, <clears throat> and then multiply that times 1.01. .01. So I'm going to let you figure out that answer, write that number down. We're going to do the same for the 20 degrees. 1.33 and multiply that times the 225 over 100. <clears throat> All right. Then we're going to, so actually this number is bigger, so we're going to take this number and subtract the smaller number. And the answer is the difference between those two. Then let's look at one more problem. That's number 36. It says, at what temperature will... 11 kilograms of silver nitrate dissolve in 2.5 kilograms of water. Now, I like to solve problems like this using ratios because it's saying that we, well, what we're trying to figure out is how many, because we can then look it up on the table. We want to figure out how many grams will dissolve for every 100 grams of water. So in this problem, they give us 2.5 kilograms, so that's 2,500 grams. So we'll put that right there, 
and then the 11 kilograms becomes 11,000 grams of the silver nitrate. So now we have a ratio, 11,000 over 2,500 equals blank over 100. And then, do you remember how we solve these types of problems? We're going to cross multiply this times this, okay? Take that answer and divide by the 2,500 and that will be your answer. Okay, so cross multiply, divide, and you'll have your answer. Multiply, divide, put your answer here. <clears throat> and then, once you have that number, look that up on table 6-5, and that's actually your final answer because the question is at what temperature? All right, so this um, answer here is an intermediate step. And uh, I think you're ready to finish this problem.